at the center of a secret spy mission? Mankind's final savior? Such a situation is fairly common in schizophrenia and psychosis. It's a common delusion. It's religious persecution, paranoia turned into feeling like you're on a secret mission, either put on the task by the CIA through secret messages that you decoded on the TV, or religious feelings and visions that where you think that you are vitally important to the unfolding of fate in a huge religious kind of context. People with delusions about being the center of intense focus have a mixed experience. Sometimes they are the object and sometimes the implement of surveillance. We're watched or we're watching. By that I mean sometimes we watch while other times we are watched. And at the same time, we may study a situation for whether some agent demonstrates their role in the delusion. We may imagine and feel like the situation is dire and carries ultimate significance. I've heard of schizophrenics or psychotic individuals who are boarded up in their high-rise building in the city, looking out the window at all the people going by, telling the story about how each is involved in these various espionage activities or classified projects of some sort. If somebody believes that they are the savior of mankind, that they're going to end things singularly and decisively in some kind of big showdown, that's characteristically delusional. We all work in this world together and it's a shared experience of joint action, what happens in the world. So figuring that the self is of ultimate significance, that's troublesome. It can't be real. So that's why those experiences are just delusional and why we consider them part of the psychotic delusion. The beliefs of religion and spirituality are diverse and wide ranging, but whenever one individual says, I am the one, that speaks to me of cultish obsession and delusion. That's all it speaks to. It doesn't make me think, well, in some way, maybe I am the savior. No, that's BS, basically, that the mind is doing to itself when you can't get out of that belief system, you can't get out of that belief set. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. This was Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic, with day 40 of 100 symptoms. Please share or subscribe and comment below. Bye.